Concealed carry pistols, 380 versus 9 millimeter. What does all of this even mean? Let's talk about it. Let's find the pros and cons so that you can make the most educated decision when it comes to purchasing uh, your next pistol. Both of the guns I have before me here are 365 Sig Sauer carry pistols. This is like the flagship, like we got 365s flying out the door. So many people carry them. Now these look and are the exact same size. Look at that, exact same size, but we now offer it in nine millimeter and 380. So you're like, what does that even mean? Well, let's talk about it. Nine millimeter and 380, this is the actual bullet size. So we're no longer talking about the gun, the 365. That is the model of these firearms. This one is in 380 caliber, so it shoots a little bit smaller of a bullet than this 365 nine millimeter. How do you know which one to choose for you? Well, let me tell you quickly the pros and cons of nine millimeter versus 380, because we know that these guns really don't offer much different. So let's talk about the ammo, because the ammo, what these guns eat is what makes them different. So the 380 is a smaller bullet just by a bit. And you're like, okay, what does that mean? Well, we're looking at like 100 feet per second difference in velocity. Velocity is how fast these bullets are actually coming out of the gun. This one's under 1,000 feet per second and this one's right over 1,000 feet per second. Okay, there's that fact. Bullet weight, the actual projectile that's flying out of this gun. The nine millimeter, it weighs some more than this one. This is a 90 grain bullet. This one's like a 115 grain. It's 25 grains. Take that as you will. That's the information bullet wise. There's a lot of research out there. There's a lot of tests that show you the difference in them ballistically. What you gain from this smaller bullet, the loss in the bullet weight, the loss in the velocity from the nine millimeter, what do you gain? You gain recoil management. When it comes to concealed carry, something that I always keep in mind in the standard, or a question that I ask myself is, what gun can I use to get the most rounds on target with? Because that seems really important. <laughs> like I ask myself this question for obviously being a professional competitive shooter, but self-defense seems remarkably valuable to know how many rounds I can put on a target quickly. And with these being less recoil to manage, I'm gonna be able to shoot it most likely a lot faster and a lot more accurately right out of the box. So pro of 380, yes, you've lost some bullet ballistic ability. You know, it's not going as fast. It's not as big as a bullet, but I can shoot it faster, I can shoot it more accurately, and it's much more friendly to people getting into concealed carry and firearms to begin with. Carrying a gun on you is a huge responsibility, and I'm really proud of you for taking the steps to try and educate yourself and pick uh, a firearm that really fulfills your needs. But know that a gun is so much better than no gun. So if nine millimeter is too much for you to handle, you don't feel comfortable and confident shooting it. It's just not where you are physically. Maybe it's just, it's just a no, cool. It doesn't matter what your reason is, it's your reason. 380 might be your answer because it can help you feel more comfortable, feel a little bit more confident, not have the gun jump in your hands as much. And it can either be a forever answer, a training answer, it can be anything, but it's definitely a solid answer for anyone looking for concealed carry. So it's a little chatty, but hopefully you actually feel like you got something from this and that it will help you make a choice in the future that is really an important one because this is your life and I think it's worth protecting and you obviously know it is. So good luck and hopefully this helps.